Today I'm going to be doing some no line marker colouring on vellum for my AECP. Gosh, that was a mouthful. Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't before, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button below. Let's get to it. I'm going to be using this succulent stamp from Altenew. Um I'm going to colour that biggest one in. Um, and as I said, it is no line colouring on vellum. Now I didn't even know that you could do this at all. Um, until I did the beautiful details class um, for my AECP which by the way is amazing one of my favorite classes that it's just it's it's amazing amazing um, so basically it's really cool so you stamp the image that you want to color onto vellum with like watermark ink sticky ink um, I just use Versamark and then you emboss it but with a clear matte finish powder um they said that you can try with gloss if that's all you've got like the shiny but i don't think that it would work as well um but like can you see um at some point i showed you the like when you heat up the powder and it just disappears it, it legitimately disappears you can't see it at all um now it does need to be an image that you are okay colouring the, you, like you'll see the opposite of the image. Yeah, because you emboss it and then turn the vellum over and colour on the other side of the vellum. So yeah, it needs to be an image that you don't mind flipping. Um, and I mean, like it, it's so invisible that I honestly found it difficult to see at times I mean you can see while I'm colouring I keep lifting it up to try and look in the light I put a piece of white paper underneath um, and then I put a piece of dark paper underneath and then I'm working with the the stamp packaging right next to me because it, it's it's amazing how well this stuff just it just disappears um, and then yeah you can colour it in and get the no line colouring effect it's amazing um you can color on vellum with markers um it, i know obviously it's an, it's a non-porous um surface but the um alcohol will will still evaporate and the you know the marker will stay there um you do have to be careful not to overwork it a little bit which i did do in a couple of places i think if you add too much um because it's non-porous it I think it kind of sort of builds up a bit too much and um, it can leave not the, the best of um, of finishes um, so that was something that I had to look out for um, but I think that I found it easier as I went through um, so yeah I just added the, the colour darkest at the bottom of the leaves um, blended it up to lighter at the top just your standard blending adding that shadows uh, that you know that the shadows and the the highlights that make your image come to life now while you're doing it it's it's really easy to decide that you don't like it and just stop and um and just yeah throw it out because quite often i find that in the process of being made I don't like my art uh, you know it, it can look a bit funny look a bit rubbish um but but you need to just sort of push on and and get to the end and when I do that by the time I get to the end nine times out of ten I am happy with what I've made um so so yeah just have a little bit of faith in yourself um, trust the process um, and and yeah hopefully you'll you'll find something that you love in the end
coloured it all with markers, including the pot, um, and then I got out my coloured pencils, and um, these are the Arteza, Arteza, one of these days I will figure out how to say that and say it right. Anyway, they're um, professional coloured pencils, um, and just defined all of the like the shapes a little bit more, um, added a bit more depth into the bottom um, now I didn't have like a green that I thought was dark enough to add the depth that I really wanted at the base of the leaves so instead I grabbed a red crayon um, which may sound insane um, but it, it does kind of work because they're complementary colours opposite each other on the colour wheel so you if you mix them you will generally get like a mud colour but if you just add a tiny little bit of, of a complementary colour um, into the very deepest shadows of, of whatever you're colouring it can give you that extra depth that that you might not be able to get by just using a different shade of green um, so yeah something to try and give it a go I've tried it quite a few times and I'm, I I like it and um, you do have to be careful don't add too much um, because you will get like mud um, and that's not the effect that we're going for um, but yeah it I think it works really well I really like it um, so yeah I defined all of the shadows and the shapes and everything else with the pencils um, and then I continued to make my card <laughs> I trimmed down the vellum um, and to make it an overlay and um, I stamped out a background and got my sentiment sorted and embellished it up got it on a card really happy with it and then realized that my camera had died <laughs> so I only have the the, the vellum part the coloring on vellum part but that was the main thing that I wanted to 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 do in today's post um, so <laughs> I achieved that um, and I have lots of extra photos and full instructions on how I got this card from just an image coloured on vellum to a full card I have all that information on my blog um, the links are below um, I'm really sorry <laughs> I don't have the video I've learnt, learnt my lesson to, to check that it's still just keep checking that it is still rolling don't just assume Tasha um, but yeah I hope that you enjoyed the technique that I wanted to to show you today and um, maybe you'll give it a go let me know if you do Um tag me in and uh, Ulta New as well it's, it was their their Academy class that I learnt this technique um and yeah here's some pictures of my finished card um and all the details from my blog <laughs> um if you haven't subscribed already i'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and um, try to have a lot of fun on this channel i'm honest and i'll admit my mistakes so yeah we can learn together <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you all have a safe and happy week stay crafty bye